Republicans are waging a war on women. At least that's what the Obama team would have you believe. From all the rhetoric coming out of the White House, one would think the GOP is forcing women back into aprons in the kitchen. But is this really what's going on? Or is this another partisan ploy aimed at winning back the presidency? Here with me now to weigh in with what women voters are really thinking, Gretchen Hamill, the director of public notice, Lee Carter with Maslansky Lonson Partners, and Andrea Tanto Tanteros, <laughs> I said it right the second time, co-host of The Five. Andrea, I want to start with you. Is this a war on women that Republicans are waging? No, but that's what the left and the Obama administration would like you to believe. Um, look, I think they're misguided on this one. This started off with a religious freedom debate and with the help of the media, it's turned into this war on women. They're trying to take away contraception, which is, one, not the case, and two, it can't be the case because it's not legal. They, I mean, you cannot take away contraception. The Supreme Court already ruled that. Um, but This I, was a conversation that we had 30 years ago, right, Lee? Why are we turning years, back the clock? What's in it for, for Obama and his supporters, and, and are the Republicans handling this badly? I think the Republicans aren't handling it well. I think that Obama is taking control of the message, and this isn't so much a war on women as it is a messaging war. And what we're seeing right now is that there's a huge gap and there's a huge divide, and who's going to... Really, the, the, the big issue here is not that you have a right to birth control, it's that do you have a right to free birth control? And when you poll women, they're going to say, I don't think we do. Well, well I have seen women say they support this. Uh, Gretch, to you, you know, you look at the numbers, women are supportive of having free birth control, but I'm also supportive of having a free beer and a free burger. I mean, if you're going to give it to me free, I'll take it. I mean, it, exactly. it, this is just ridiculous. Yeah, it's not an honest poll when you ask that because, of course, everyone wants everything for free, but at the end of the day, it's not all free. It comes at the cost of the taxpayers, but I would disagree with... Andrea on this. I do not believe this is something that the media has created. The Republicans basically walked right into this and basically stirred this up themselves by one, having an all men's panel during a hearing on this issue. Santorum, his potential, or not potential, but his gaffes that he made well, many times. I mean, Republicans kind of like turned the sword on themselves well, first on this of all, issue. it was a hearing on religious freedom. And I don't believe in quotas. I don't think they should just have a female on the panel to have a female on the, at the committee hearing. They should have the best possible witness. That's the Republican platform. And you have George Stephanopoulos leading the question on contraception. Everywhere Santorum goes, he gets asked about it. So the media has been fueling this in every major media. I was just but giving a speech about this in Vermont. But, you know, last week, Jerry, my point in the New York Daily News, my column was, I am woman hear me beg? And really, feminists, if you're a true feminist, think about it. We've heard for decades, stay out of my doctor's office, stay out of my bedroom, don't tell me what to do with my body until there's a bill involved, until there's a cost, then they want a man or a woman to pay for their birth control? That does not sound like a strong independent woman to me. Lee, do you want to come back on this? You know, I actually agree with you. I think that it's ridiculous to say that women have a right to free birth control. Yeah. And I don't think that it's right and, and, and when you see that there's, there's women going out there and making, making bills on Viagra, that, just to make a point, mm -hmm. it's getting out of control. And All it's right. Not Gretchen, let, let me get you back in here because there's no payoff really for Obama here. I want to show you some numbers, no. approval ratings. He's not really scoring with women now. You look at the approval ratings, the approval rating for women is falling for Obama, not rising. How do you read this? Well, there's some potential here on both sides, and this is where we have to get back to the issues. If you look, women have been voting in larger margins since 1964. They vote in larger turnout margins as well. 60% of eligible women voters turned out back in 2008, and they now have a more healthier view of Republicans than they have in a long time, since 2000. Re women are more concerned about health care. They're divided on that issue. They're more concerned about the economy, about jobs more than men. So if you really want to win women, you win them by talking about the, the issues that matter to them. Economics, health care, jobs, and government spending. All right. Well, let me get you to uh, something that became very controversial, and that's Sandra Fluke. Lots of talk about this woman who testified and mm -hmm. said that she wanted the free, because all of us have said, you know, it shouldn't necessarily be free. Right. What do you make of her, Andrea? Well, she was a hearsay witness. One, she wasn't even testifying on behalf of herself. She was testifying on behalf of her friends and hearsay and all these other things. And if I'm on the left, I'm, ask, I'm asking myself, why did we pick her as the face of this? She's not really poor. She's a p lawyer, p going to be a lawyer with a pathway She's to awesome. affluence, right? Why wouldn't they pick someone who was really in need, someone who was really poor, who needed it? To me, she was just a straw woman, and I don't think that she well, did a good I mean, job advancing the debate. 
You know what's interesting about that is that we're talking like you can't get contraception, and that's just not right. true. She didn't like it. She could have gone to Yale or Columbia or gone down the street to Walgreens you and gotten go some birth control for nine dollars. Or you can also get it from Planned Parenthood for free. Sure. They help people get that. So I think it's I think it's shocking. What do you say, Lee? I think that she was a she became a symbol. She became a symbol That's for true. educated mm -hmm. women coming up against something that a lot of people could rally behind from their perspective. And it seems a little bit because they lost sight of what the real issue was. It wasn't about taking away the right to contraception. It was about giving employers the right to have religious freedom. That's true. It was, it completely, it made everybody point the wrong direction. They wanted and that's that. exactly that's what, what they it did. And it's exactly. They did win that. Well, Gretchen, but, go I mean, ahead. They, yeah. Yeah, they, they did win that debate. And that's where the message went astray. They made this about something it's not. They gave it legs. Sandra Fluke became Joe the Plumber and gave a storyline more legs and longer longevity, especially after the comments Rush made about her. So basically, what she did was keep this story alive, and it's the reason that we're here talking about it weeks after it actually happened. Well, you know, what's interesting. We just finished a segment only moments ago where we talked about how women are ahead when it comes to earnings. They're tending to marry down, not up. They're not looking for a spouse who can earn more money than they do. They're graduating at higher rates than men. So, I mean, it, you know, it's just so strange then that on the political front, we're back to talking about contraception. It shocks it's sad. me. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they're throwing it in reverse. But look, it's the problem. It's the, it's actually the product of feminism. Year after year after year, being jammed down our throats. It's not going to work as a long-term strategy, and the polls are bearing that out. What's not going to work as a long-term? Uh, just strategy? talking about contraception to election day. New York Times, Jerry, and no. and CBS had articles right before the polls came out saying Obama was winning this this war on women thing. A couple of days later, CBS didn't even report on their own poll showing that he had dropped with women. Well, I guess the media is involved. The okay. media is very, very <laughs> involved. All right, Gretchen Lee, Andrea, thanks so much for coming in. That was a lot of fun. I like the girl panel. Yeah. Girl yeah. power.